Hey everybody and welcome to another alumni edition of Hometown Hype. I'm Mackenzie Harris coming to you from Mississippi State University. And you might be wondering why we're coming from Mississippi State, but it's because we recently caught up with Popperville's very own Zach Houston. And Zach talks about his experience as a Popperville High School student on to his experience here at Mississippi State and now being drafted into the minors where he is with the Detroit Tigers. Hey everybody and welcome to this edition of Hometown Hype where we are talking with our alumni and this week we are talking with Zach Houston. And Zach, tell me a little bit about your background, about your history and how you're from Popperville. Uh, I was born and raised here. Um, I went to Popville ever since I was in school. Um, I played in high school, played middle school, and then, you know, you know, upwards and onwards out of here. Right, and uh, you played baseball, and you were very successful. Tell me about uh, your high school years on the Popville baseball team. It was it was something I'd never forget. You know, I, I really enjoyed my time playing baseball here. I was able to make some, you know, friends that I'll be friends with the rest of my life, and. Um, got to play under some really good coaches and got to learn a lot. Right, and what about, so you get, you go to Mississippi State, how did that come about? How did, did somebody contact you? Did they come watch you play? Um, did they scout you? What, what was the process? Yeah, there? yeah, a little bit. You know, I, um, I got invited to a couple of different showcases and okay. um, as I was, as I would go to these different things, you know, colleges would be there watching different kids and stuff like that and then you know after you you kind of get your name out there different colleges will start getting in contact with you and um, they'll start coming to watch you at your high school or wherever you play and then you know when that time does come they start to call you and you start taking visits and stuff like that and um, I was able to take a few different visits I visited Mississippi State I took a visit to Ole Miss, LSU, Southern and I had a few other schools contact me and then you know I visited all these schools and it just came down to I thought Mississippi State was the best fit for me. That's awesome. Um, so you really like Mississippi State. Um, how, tell me about your time there. Was there a big learning curve going from high school to a D1 college playing baseball? Yeah, it was totally different. You know, playing in the SEC, you're at the top tier in all of college baseball. I believe um, it. It was it was a 180. I had to I had to you know change everything that I knew about baseball. I, I had to reinvent my work ethic. I had to, uh, you know, I went from being a, a really standout player in high school to just being another guy in college. So, you know, when I got there, it was totally different. I had, I had a lot to learn, um, but I was very fortunate to be under such an amazing coaching staff and be surrounded with also great players the, the whole time I was there. So I, I was really fortunate and um, it, it, was, it was, it was totally different. Like, you know, you just mentioned how whenever you get that chance, you didn't really have that chance here freshman year, but when you got it, what about that first time that they say, all right, Zach, you know, you're pitching for us tonight, you know, you're going to the mound, or they tell you that you're going to be pitching in the game, your first game, what, how did you handle that? Like, what was your mindset? I was petrified. I, was <laughs> I, I can I, imagine. I we were in Arizona playing the tournament, and um, it was against Arizona, and I went out there, and it was the first time I've ever thrown, and um, it was my freshman year, we uh, we get out there and we're getting, I mean we're getting smacked around, and I get called in from the bullpen and I'm, like, oh, yeah, and I'm okay. coming up and yeah. pouring sweat, hands are shaking, <laughs> and I get up there and I think it was like the second or third pitch, dude hits one right back at my head, and I, and I was just able to get out the way. I think I think I threw maybe like eight pitches and I got pulled, <laughs> oh, <my laughs> and God. I don't know if I touched the mound for another month after that. I know you talked about your struggles and how you were trying different things and stuff like that. How did you um, not get so down on yourself whenever you're trying to, you know, make so much happen and it's not going your way? How did you keep it positive? Um, you know, I definitely there, there was definitely down times in my career. There was times where I just wanted to hang the cleats up and walk away from it. But you know, I, I reached out to family, reached out to friends, people who you know never stopped believing in me and they never will stop believing in me. Um, you know, just talking to people, uh, you know, my, my dad, he was always a big advocate for me. He was always something that, that I could go to any any moment in time if I was feeling down. And there were some long, long nights where I would just sit up, staying away, just staring at the ceiling, wondering what in the world am I doing? You know, mm -hmm. why why can't I figure this out? Or, or why can't why can't things just start going my way like they're going for this guy or that guy? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, just, I felt like the world was picking on me. but. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, I, I, I sucked it up. I, 
I was able to figure some things out. Uh, people, you know, people help me. People help everybody. They're, they're, they're there for you, family, friends, support. It's what got me through it. So we've talked about Mississippi State. Let's talk about the draft for the Miners and how that worked. How, um, how did you, when did you know that you were going to be a, in Detroit for the minor leagues? Um, well, it's kind of weird how it happens. Uh, you know, draft day comes around. On the first day, they pick, they, uh, they do the top 10 rounds. So each team will get, you know, 10 picks or around 10 picks, depending on different variables. But, um, it's crazy, you know, you, you get all these phone calls up to draft day saying, hey, you know, we're looking at taking you in this round for this amount of money, will you take it? And you say either yes or no. And then, you know, and that, and that happens with a bunch of different players with a bunch of different teams. And so, you know, I had all these different teams contact me the day before saying, hey, you know, we're looking at you in this round. It may not happen, but it may happen. Will you be ready to take the money? I said, yeah, of course. Well, so during draft day, draft day gets kicked off. And you're really just waiting for, by your phone. I mean, that's all you can do. Well, uh, fifth round rolls around, and uh, I get a call from the Marlins, and they're saying that they want to take me in the uh, in the fifth round. And I said, and they said, will you take this amount of money? I said, yes. Well, fifth round rolls around, and just keeps on going. No phone call. So, gosh, I'm that's like, stressful. It is, you know, because you, you're sitting there, you're waiting by your phone. You're like, hey, I think, you know, I think I'm going to get this call, and then nothing. So. Draft keeps going by, and it's not like it's not like you call them back and be like, "Hey, what happened?" Just, <laughs> right, doesn't exactly. matter at that point. Well, then uh, eighth round rolls around, I get a call from the Braves. The Braves say the same thing. I'm sitting there waiting, 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 nothing. <laughs> that that pick rolls around. Braves take somebody else. Move on. Well, I, it's I, kind I of mean, discouraging. Yeah, it is. You know, you're, 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 you're thinking, and then you're seeing all these players that get drafted ahead of you. and You're like, I'm better than him, or you know, stuff <laughs> like that. You know, all that, all these things are going through your head. Well, uh, after, after that first day, I didn't get any more calls. So that was about the longest night of my life was in, in, up till the next day. Well, the second day, they picked rounds 11 through 40, I believe. And, um, and so the Tigers had, I think the Tigers had the fifth pick in the 11th round. And so they called me probably five minutes before the draft started again and said, hey, we want to take you for this amount of money on our pick. And... You know, I, I got on the phone with my agent, talked to him about it, talked to my parents, called him right back, said, yes, I'll take it if you pick me on this pick. Well, so their pick rolls around, they choose me, they give me a call, congratulatory, said, hey, congratulations, you've been drafted by the Tigers. And then you're solid, you got it. Yeah, you know, it all, all, it's like somebody just took the weight right off my shoulders, right. but you know, it, and it was, it was an emotional experience. My mom and my dad were there, my uncle was there. You know, they, they my, my name popped up on the screen saying the Tigers have picked it, have picked Zach Hughes in the eleventh round. So it was it was really cool to see my name up there and you know, all this work and all that, that I put into it, you know, finally finally paying off a little bit. So yes. it was it was exciting and um it was you know, it was a dream come true ever since I was a little kid. Exactly. And then the work starts again all over Yeah, again. you know, yep. you, you you get done playing your college season. And I think I had like three days off, and then I went straight to Lakeland, signed the paper, um, and then got straight into it. You know, I started practicing, working out again, and then played the rest of their season. Played the rest of, yeah, their season. Awesome. Well, Jack, congratulations on everything that you've been able to accomplish up to this point, and I hope that you have a great season this year, and that we can follow up with you again.